challenges uh, to build on top of a light client. Um, so why do we want to use light clients? Basically, when you have a DAP and you connect it to the Ethereum blockchain, you are most probably not connected with uh, your own node. You will just connect to Infra, for instance, and this is like a trusted node, and that's problematic because we want to decentralize this space, right? The problem is if you go to this trusted node and the trusted node goes, you know, like starts tracking you or starts censoring you. That's uh, probably a really bad, um, uh, bad thing to happen if you want to be decentralized, right? So what you can do is actually, there are not only those full nodes, these are the nodes from the Ethereum network, there are also light nodes or light clients. That's, I just use those terms exchangeably. Um, what you can do is actually have um, a light client inside your DAP that will connect to the Ethereum clients, uh, the Ethereum full nodes, and this light client can be trustless, so you can just verify everything you get from the Ethereum blockchain, and it is decentralized because it's your own node, right? You will not be censored, or you will not use a centralized point of failure. Um, so by using a light client uh, inside our DAP and not connecting to uh, third-party trusted node, we're trading a tiny bit of speed for privacy and decentralization. Um, so when you build a decentralized app on top of a light client, you have to uh, make sure that you deal with some problems that could happen because of this. Because you're using a light client, things are a bit slower and you have to identify your pain points, something that your users were some problems that your users would have eventually because you're using the light client and things are a bit slower. So for instance, um, because of P2P connection, your node could have problems to find peers, for instance, or uh, could take a bit of time to, to show account informations. Um, of course, it happens also for third party um, node, uh, but if the internet connection is not good, things like token images you know, will start be slow to load, and uh, eventually the whole syncing time might also take a bit of time anyway, a couple seconds. So you have to let your users, you know, do something while um, while these things happen. Um, so what we want to do is you want to make sure we're transparent. You don't want to, you know, like freeze the whole thing if your node is not um, uh, responding. So tell users uh, that the node is not responding and just relaunch it. If you have no peers, maybe the user has a bad connection, you just should show that. And while you're syncing, because the you know the light client will sync, you will have to you know show how far you are. Uh, if images are long to fetch, it's not a big deal, so you can show a placeholder. Just make sure you're not blocking your users. Um, I'm just going quickly over there. I just want to show you very briefly how we implemented this in uh, Feather. So Feather is a, um, an application built on top of a light client. So when you launch it, it's actually syncing here uh, in the background. And it will sync in a couple seconds, maybe a minute. But you know, like you can do stuff as a user. So for instance, here I'm you know, creating an account, uh, generating you know, a green cat. And then, of course, you, you, know, you have like this is the onboarding flow. So you have to do the things like show them their money, ask them to. Um, yeah, to prove that they, they've uh, put that on paper, then create a password, confirm, and this is syncing, you know, in the background. You show them, like, okay, with 39% then, and what you can do is, you know, let's say people just um, can add another account, whatever. This is taking a bit of time, but I'm just selecting a file here from my, from my PC. Yeah, I mean, you get the thing. I have one minute left, so I want to talk about uh, just this application that is built on a light client, has been audited by Trade of Bits. Um, we will release a version, I think, next week with all the things fixed, and we'll now let it run by the community if you're interested. Um, go ahead. Um, shameless plug, we're hiring a full stack dev. Talk to me if you're interested. It's a very tease. Thank you so much. <coughs>